Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into uh, one of my local hometown fighters here in Texas, Earl Spence, and he uh, made some news. But before we do get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow quick, uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It's going to be uh, also, please subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from this channel go to Autism Re- from Texas Boxing Scene go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's going to be a slow week, obviously. Christmas is not a lot of fight news coming on, but um, let's get into it. Errol Spence, um, shout out to him. We always criticize fighters for not making fights. Um, you know, fights fall apart, promotional reasons whatever it may be, um, when fights don't get made, we criticize them. Um, so I want to criticize, I, I want to compliment someone now for not making a fight. And, and that's Errol Spence. Errol Spence uh, was asked about a possible fight of Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao had an exhibition fight. Uh, and apparently, allegedly, he wants to come back and have a real fight. Uh, and, and obviously, he was supposed to fight Errol Spence in his last fight. That fell through when Errol Spence had the eye injury. Um, and he fought Ugas. That was in August of 2021. It was about 16 months ago. Um, and he got uh, beat up pretty bad by Ugas. You know, it was fairly competitive. But, he, you know, he lost wide, lost wide decision, I thought. Um, and then Ugas um, got stopped by, by Spence in a fairly one-sided fight. Um, and Spence said he didn't want to take the fight. Um, you know, Spence noted Larry Holmes, what Holmes did to Ali. Um, he said, I wouldn't fight him. I probably wouldn't fight him. Uh, like you can see the stigma that Larry Holmes is one of the, the greatest heavyweights of all time. One of the greatest fighters of all time. I feel like he didn't get the respect that he deserved. Like people just don't regard him. People really don't just talk about him. I think that's all because he beat Muhammad Ali. He effed him up in that fight. I don't really think people consider him elite. Nobody really talks about Larry Holmes. I think it's all because of that. It's also, you know, Spence gets it. um, There's there's no, nothing to gain from um, beating up a legend a beloved legend like Pacquiao and, you know, people are honestly, people may pay to see you beat up Floyd Mayweather. They're not going to pay to see you beat up Pacquiao for whatever reason. Pacquiao is beloved uh, and and Mayweather, you know, his appeal was you love to hate him. Right. I mean, yeah, you know, there are Mayweather fans and everyone else had a kind of a love hate relationship with Mayweather, right? Like you paid to see him lose. That never really happened, but you you know, Uh, Pacquiao, people generally like Pacquiao. And no one really wants to see him get disheveled, which is what Spence would do to him at this point. At 44 years old, you put Pacquiao on his prime. I still think Spence gets him, uh, but it's obviously a great fight, right? I think you know Spence against prime Pacquiao, all-time great fight. Uh, but I, I do think Spence gets him either way. Uh, but that's you know, look, I, I, and we we don't get give Spence enough credit for that. Because, look, Spence would still get paid handsomely for that fight. Like, know that. Like, Spence would get paid handsomely for that fight. He, he would make probably a career biggest payday for that fight with this Crawford fight falling through. And the reason is because once a star, always a draw, right? And Pacquiao is an international superstar. Like, they could stage that fight in Dubai, and Spence would get richer than Maybe every fight he's had combined. Like, that's like the kind of money that fight could do in, in, in Asia, in the Middle East. Like, they could guarantee them a ton of money. Um, and so I want to give Spence credit for that. Like, like, like Spence is, uh, that's a, you know, I, I think it's a good 
career move, like he said, he is, you know, they say never attack a grieving mom in a courtroom, right? So you never want to go after a grieving mom, right? You're, no matter, you're never going to look good doing that, right? Um, and never, ever beat up a legend, right? Like, you're not going to look good if you beat up a beloved legend like Pacquiao. Like, even if you beat him, they're just going to criticize you for beating up an old guy. Like, then they're going to say you couldn't do it in, in his prime. And I think Spence probably could beat him. So I, I think it's well played for, for Spence, but then he's actually putting his money where his mouth is. Um, I, and I, I respect that, right? Because he could go in. I, and I don't want to call Pacquiao easy work because he's the top 20 fighter ever to ever live. Um, but I think Spence would come in there at this point and, and, and destroy him, right? And he doesn't, he's not going to do that, right? He's not going to do it because it's not going to get him the legacy they want. And it's also, it's not the right thing to do to a legend. And again, he could get paid a tremendous amount of money. So he's making a moral decision here over a financial decision. I think that's well played by Earl Spence. Uh, but on top of that, for me, you know, and if you're listening to this as a hardcore fan, would you want to see Spence fight Pacquiao? Go fight Boots, go fight Verge, right? Go fight Thurman. Um, a legacy fight, you know, go fight Verge at Cowboy Stadium. It'll be the biggest thing ever. Go fight Crawford. Go fight Boots, right? There are fights out there that the fans would love to see. You fight. In, pack at this stage again it'll be lucrative and if you do it you're doing it for one reason and that one reason is fine it's the reason why everyone goes to work it's the reason why i'm recording this it's to get paid it's your job and there's nothing wrong with that right but he'll take less money to take a, a better a bigger fight right like virgil ortiz or boots Enos or keith thurman at this point is a much harder fight than any pack you know, and it will pay him less so, I, really, I, I mean, we always knock fighters and get on fighters and, and, and say this guy's ducking this guy. Let's give credit to a fighter for turning a fight down. Um, Spence, so on fight back here, I think, for good reason. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know uh, what you guys think. Are you, are you glad that Spence doesn't want to fight back? Um, is it, does that fight intrigue you to any degree? Do you want to see Pack get beat up? I don't know. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media, as well as Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is December 22nd, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.